What's up guys, Plank Commander here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved. In the last episode, we uh, we, do we dealt with some more Flood, we went through the library a little bit, and now we're going to be doing more of that. And uh, this mission's hard. It's very oh, hard. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Take him down, boys. Take him down, Semper Fi. Ah. Oh god, oh god, that's bad. Oh. Where the hell did I get a plasma pistol? Uh, dying. Oh. This motherfucker just does not go down. I shot him like six times, and he went down three times. Or it was different affected. What the? I, does the uh, does the plasma, plasma pistols charging have like an AOE? Uh, I think a small AOE. Because I feel like I just killed a bunch of little colonels. Yeah. With like one charge shot. I think like the shot, it's a bit more splash damage than the uh, uh, what you, what you call it. Also, I am low on ammo. Mm. Where is that, you know, ammo? Oh, he's probably this way. Oh, here they come. Oh my god. Spray and pray. I was Ow. Gonna... Um, what's some other useful halo effects? Um, so, did he... Did you know all Spartans are kidnapped children? I think so. I think you told me that. All right. Oh, did you know that in addition to be kin... Do you know how they got the people to be okay with them kidnapping their children? How? They lied. They made, really? cl they made clones, and they replaced all the children with clones that died like two or three years later. Wow. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, where the hell are we He's going? over there. I want to shoot him, but it's not going to do anything. His voice is obnoxious. <laughs> he sounds like he's a bottom. <laughs> I bet you takes it up the butt. Not saying there's anything wrong with that, but... He better take it up the butt. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, this is a survival section, because this is the door. Oh. So... But then where are they? Oh. Oh, never mind. It's opening. You. He's laughing. You know... Oh, it, is this the mission where there's also, like, a shit ton of drones? Uh... You mean, like, sentinels? Yeah. Uh, I think there's a few. Oh! Sentinels don't really become an issue until later. It's... And, oh, crap. I'm out of... Ammo. Die! I really don't want to waste ammo for this thing. Wait, I got this. Nee. Nice. Owie. Got a kneeler. This should be helpful for the kernels. Hmm. You know, it took me forever to spell the word kernel. Oh, what is that? Which, which which word, Colonel? There's two. Oh, oh shit. Where? Oh god, they're here. Uh, I gotta fall back. Okay. I'm gonna just call down the fire support. Um, the Colonel, like not the not popcorn, but like the military rank. Yeah. Okay. Like it. It looks like it's spelled Colonel. Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of vegetable. There's no R in that word. I don't know why it's pronounced like that. Yeah. Did you know that you can actually be like a six-star general? Really? Yeah. It's it's not like um, not every nation has it, but like it's called being like a generalissimo. Huh. Yeah, like Chiang Sh Kai-shek from the Chinese Civil War was a generalissimo. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if we have any. But, like, I think it is possible, which is something I didn't know for a while. Hold on. Die. There we go. Oh. Run. Oh! Popcorn boy. Go away. Ah! Oh. Well, shit. Oh, you're back. <laughs> yeah, but I lost the shotgun. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I think, like... 
our current strategy is working out pretty well. Because, yeah, like, yeah, we we are doing pretty okay. I think as long as you don't let the floods numbers spook you, you just need to know that like, oh, we can't we can't like rush forward. Is the yeah. real thing. Once you see like red come up on your radar, that's when you need to stand and fight. Like, yeah, not one step back. Well, actually, take as many steps back as you want. Just no, not one step forward. I'm gonna perform a reverse Stalin and tell you not to advance. Yeah. I love history. You just gotta, just like, stand your ground. Yeah. Stand your ground. He was on my ground. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Oh, he has an assault rifle. Your death Die. is to my benefit, comrade. Oh. Oh, another shotgun over here. I'm just killing the owner real quick. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna just toss a grenade. It might not be over there, because- oh, fuck me. I just did the same thing. Uh, I feel like- when did they add that whole- oh, oh, what the fuck just killed me? The shotgun. God yeah. damn. You just- That went right through my shield. Yeah. Shotguns. That's why I say, like- Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter in Halo 1, but- If somebody came at you with an energy sword, the shotgun just fucks them. You have the shotgun back, right? I do. Just be careful. I know, I know. I'm gonna try to provide some... There was a... There was a... A, a popcorn horde hiding behind uh, this wall over here. Mm. But they both popped. So now it's uh, now it's just kernels. Hmm. That, it looks like I should be able to walk over that. Uh, yeah, let's not try. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I mean, it's a hole. Um, but, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, some of these are... The nice thing is that, like... Oh, shit, a pistol! Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, there's more shotgun ammo over here, but be careful, because... I think, um, oh shit, 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 uh, another shotgun boy, please don't shoot. Watch out, watch out. Oh. There we go. Uh oh. Ah! Exploders, no. I'm gonna pull a retreat real quick. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can help I you out, though. probably also retreat soon. I got some of the... I just... <laughs> you could really use some health. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> My shield is, like, almost done. These fuckers do not die. Die! Oh, they keep... My shield is done. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a retreat. Alright, just be careful. There's popcorn. Yeah, I know. They're kind of following me. <laughs> I really hope that I'm wrong, or I'm right about them not spawning infinitely, because if that is not the case, then this would just be, like, pointless. But yeah. I don't think they do. It's not one of those games. I, I remember this taking a while from when we played on Xbox. Yeah. I, I know that people don't really like... Well, that's a, a controversial statement, isn't it? Hey, fuck off. Uh, I know that there's a lot of, like, old-school FPS fans that don't really like Halo, but I feel like that's not entirely, uh... But I mean, like, Halo is old-school FPS. Oh, that's... that's a controversial statement, my dude. It, it's old-school, like, of modern FPS. Oh, shit. The, Halo basically invented the modern FPS. I would agree with that statement. Um, as far as, like, old, old school? No, it's absolutely not. <laughs> I'd say that, like, Halo kind of defined the paradigm that shooters went what, off of. Because here's the thing. When I think for... of old school shooters, old school FPS, I think, like, Doom. Yeah. Like, the original Doom. I think Quake, Doom, yeah. Half-Life. Like, Wolfenstein. Stuff like that. W Wolfenstein? I'm... Wolfenstein... I'm not a huge fan of, like, the original Wolfenstein. 
And like, I know that a lot of people would be like, "Ah, oh, because you're a zoomer," <laughs> but like that game, you can't do aiming on the Y axis and. Like, if you play it with, like, old controls, it, there's just so much inflexibility. Also, be careful being flanked. Well, I say flanked, but, you know, pop yeah. popcorny boys are... Could you just die? We were we were both shooting at him for a while, and he just would oh, not go down. Oh, shotgun over here, I think. Where? Here, where I'm standing. I will gladly take that instead of a freaking energy pistol. Yeah. First guilty spark. Uh, somewhere in this direction. Also, health pack if you need it. Uh, I'm good. Also, be careful. There's a yeah ravine. It's we can walk out of this one though. Yeah. Oh! I thought that was a bigger one, and it scared me. Hmm. We're probably gonna have to like inch our way forward, and then ah, uh, here we go. Uh, I remember this room. I remember this. Oh, you're being shotgunned. I'm gonna... Yeah. Go away! Alright, pick up the shotgun rounds. I would say that, like, Halo sort of defined how FPS games are made up until, like, the last five years. Like, you know, the new... with Doom coming back, and games like, um, Dusk, and other games that, like, take inspiration from, like, older shooters. I think, yeah. like... I, I don't want to blame... I, I do I do feel like old-school shooters are kind of making a comeback. Oh, undeniably. I mean, I, I own a lot of, like, sort of new old-school shooters. I personally... <laughs> Super Noah's Ark 3D. <laughs> I, do, I do own that game. Do you, actually? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't beat it yet, though. Because it, it's just Wolfenstein. Like, yeah, but it's Noah's Ark. Also, there's guys behind you. Watch out. Oh, shit. Ah, and I just ran out of assault rifle ammo. Nice. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna grab this shotgun real quick. Oh, God. There's so many of them! I'm gonna throw some grenades. Uh, just stand back. Yeah. Alright. That probably was not as effective as it could have been. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but... I would recommend Dusk. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I, the name sounds familiar. It's kind of like... Uh, it looks kind of like Quake, but uh, it it's, like, much better. Like, I think... I haven't played a ton of Quake, but I'm not the hugest fan of Quake. And I know that's, like, heresy to, like... I mean, I, I know basically nothing about Quake. That's fine. It's, like... It, like, I'd say it's okay, but it's it's very polygonal, and it's it's still got kind of like some of the older shooter tropes that are pain in the ass. Um, Dusk, it does have some of the older stuff, but it also has... it's they, they take the stuff that's generally good, and they try to get rid of frustrating things. Have you ever heard of a game called Outlaws? Um... No. That that looks actually like a pretty fucking cool game. Um, I've never like seen it before myself, but like I watched uh, a let's play on it from uh, Stephen Place, mm -hmm. and it's like basically imagine if Doom was a western. Hmm. That's essentially what it is. It looks pretty fucking cool. Do you kill demons? No, you you kill outlaws. Oh, all right, fair enough. And like each each mission is like a not not an assassination, but like you go to a town and you have to try to take out an outlaw. And there's like hordes of enemies you have to deal with, like his posse and shit. Mm. And then when you kill all of them, the the outlaw comes out and you have to kill him. It's mm. it looks actually pretty cool. Ooh, more enemies! Here they come. Oh, the sentinels will help a little bit. Um, so I'd say I don't know if I'm weird, but my for me... Okay, the Sentinels are kind of shooting at me. Uh, they are not very discriminatory. Yeah. Please don't kill me. I only have a short-ranged shotgun. Yeah. 
Let's see if there's more guns over here. Uh, plasma rifle. Hey, do you want to come over here? Let me just take out some of these things because they're going to kill me. I think they'll start shooting at us if you do. They were already shooting at me. Well, by accident. Take my shotgun ammo. It's right down here. Where? Right here. Oh, okay, I got him. Oh, okay. Um, there is a pistol over here that I will gladly take. Mm. I think I stole some of that ammo. No, you're fine. Oh, I'll take the assault rifle. Or I dropped it over there. Oh, okay. All right, now I have more ammo. Awesome. Um, but I think if I could mix time splitters with like time splitters is another game I really want to try. It's so good. Cause that's that's like it, it's like a time travel shooter, right? Yeah, it's, it, it looks really interesting. Just uh, the gameplay is kind of like Goldeneye, but just you know. Yeah. I'd, I'd say I, I'm i not a huge fan of Goldeneye's gunplay, but I think, like, personally, I wish I could have a keyboard and mouse to play those games. You can. There is Goldeneye Source. Yeah. I know that those exist, but, like, that that is how I think, like, that game should be played, if, like, possible, because... Yeah. God, the aiming is... Oh, I think there's enemies behind us. Yeah, Goldeneye is a, a weird game. Like, I, I, here, here's, I don't mind it just because, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain this, but, like, the best way I could put it is, like, I'm a very fast learner. It does not take me long to get used to, like, weird control schemes. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can, I, I can get you, while I admit that I don't like Golden Eyes controls, I can get used to it very quickly. Mm -hmm. And it's not difficult for me to adapt, but for people who can't do that... Uh, I under I absolutely understand why Goldeneye feels archaic and Ooh. like almost unplayable to some people. I just think like that for, being said, I still enjoy it. For like the time has not been very kind to Goldeneye. Like yeah, it, it, it has not aged well. What I really wish that like they if they were gonna bring Goldeneye back, either just port it straight to PC. Like, no, no uh, adjustments aside from, like... Controls. Controls, maybe options for resolution. Like, that probably wouldn't matter much, but, like, you know, nice to have the option. Or, like, just take uh, Goldeneye and upgrade the visuals and then port it. Yeah. Even, like, I mean... There's something charming about, like, how flat everyone's face in that game is, though. I mean, I'd be fine with just, like... There, there's some, there's just something about that that makes me feel nostalgic. Even though I didn't really grow up with Goldeneye, I, I guess it just it reminds me of how games were back in the '90s. Mm, I might be in the minority, but if a remake is just like gives you, uh, like ports something and does some stuff like some anti frustration stuff, but keeps it like the visuals pretty much the same. That's fine with me. I, I think that's actually preferable, because I, I, I know that, like, people like to improve visuals, but I feel like it kind of can compromise the art style sometimes. Yeah. Like, I'm not really sure about how the new Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom looks. I haven't seen gameplay yet. It's it's not, like, bad looking, but it, it does look a bit more... Oh, I'm dead. Um... Well, the, the thing is, I feel like that era, like the like the PS2 GameCube era, mm. they had saturation down perfectly. Like, I don't know what it is about games from, like, the early 2000s, but, like, color-wise, they look great. I think the problem is that, uh, also Guilty Sparks this way. Um, I think the problem is, like, developers kind of have a fetish for Bloom, and... Because, like, they're like, wow, look at how much great my game looks because I can add Bloom. Like, it's not as bad right now because they people realize that, like, just adding Bloom does not make it look better. Yeah. But it... I think, like, it is still sort of an issue because just because you can add Bloom doesn't mean you should. Yeah. One game that I've been playing lately that I honestly think is might just be one of the best-looking games I've ever played Mm -hmm. Um, believe it or not, Luigi's Mansion 3. I, I believe it. That game is actually 
fucking beautiful. It it, it, it might be the single best looking Nintendo game ever made. Mm. I, I like I I'm honestly like I I don't have any qualms about saying that. I genuinely think it might just be the best looking game Nintendo's ever made. I think the Switch has definitely like allowed Nintendo to make some. Oh my God, they have a rocket launcher. Oh, that's not good. Spread out, spread out. Well, I mean, out. the Wii U also looked beautiful. Um, before Luigi's Mansion 3, I would say, honestly, that Pikmin 3 was one of the best-looking games they ever made. Because that game is also fucking gorgeous. But, honestly, I think Luigi's Mansion might have topped it. Mm. And that's saying a lot, because Pikmin 3 is a really good-looking game. The... I don't know if you watch any of the games I play on Steam... Like, I don't know how often you're online, but I've been playing this game called... Also, there's a shotgun over here. Where? Oh, I see um, it. I've been playing this game called Stone Story RPG. It's in early access, but it's this game that's, like, entirely in ASCII art. Oh. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, yeah. It looks really that nice. That sounds awesome. It, it is really cool. It It's kind of strange because... Oh, God. This is the survival portion. Oh, no. Um... Okay, I think they're coming from this way. Uh, actually, I think we should take this on in the next episode. So um, I'm going to call the thing here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Play Commander. Tune in next time where we try our damnedest not to die. Trogdor. It's going to be difficult, but there will be an attempt. Oh, and the door's open. Oh. So we can just go. Run. Okay, uh, take care of the colonel. Nice. Confetti. Oh, God, there's more of them. Ah, run. I'll when hold it, them off. When will it end? Never. Oh, fuck. Maybe it will never end. Got him. Stop it! <laughs> Go away! Stop it. Get some help. Michael Jordan here. <laughs>